Dito na tayo sa number 3 and number 4. Galing pa, pa rin ito kay Luella Joy. Isa itong or part ito sa cadetship test review material. Meron na tayong answer key. Pero dito, itong number 3, tiningnan ko na yung sagot doon, iba yung sagot kaysa sagot natin ngayon. Anyway, basahin muna natin si number 3. How much water must be added to 25 liters of uh, 65% salt solution? Yung 65% yun yung salt solution to reduce it to 25% solution. Yung 25% yun yung salt solution. Is it 42, 38, 36, or 40? Ito ay mix problem, obviously. By the way, ilalagay ko sa description ng video ito yung iba pang mga examples or yung na-upload na natin with regards sa mixture problem or more examples about mixture problem when we say how much water must be added yung i-add natin na water ay 100% then let n be that yung uh, liters of water na i-add natin pure water so that is 100% of n added means i-add natin 25 liters of 65% salt solution. When we say 65% of salt solution na 25 liters, ito is about sa water. So, dapat itong 65 instead na salt yan, gawin natin yung water niya. So, kung 65% yung, yung salt niya, in other words, mag-minus tayo 100% minus 65% and that is 35%. So, therefore, erase natin ito. 35% of 25 liters yung pure water na nag-mix na natin, na na-mix na dito sa salt. Kaya, meron siyang... 65% salt solution, therefore, yung water niya ay 35%. Dapat palihong water. So, the same na sila na water, 100% na water, i-add natin sa 35, merong 35% na water dito sa 25 ml. Next, to reduce it to 25% solution. When we say to reduce it, that means equals equals to 25% solution. Kung 25% ang isulat natin, that is about sa salt. 100% minus 25%, that is 75% na pure water na minimix dito, na together dyan, kaya naging 25% solution siya. So, ang isulat natin dito para water ang lahat ay yung 75%. Tapos, ang tanong ulit, saan galing yung 75? 25% solution yan siya. 100 minus 25%, that is 75%. Ito yung salt, ito naman yung water. Kaya, 75%. Next, 75% of itong N na ito plus itong si 25 liters. Kasi, nag-add tayo. Ito, hindi pa natin identify kung ilang liters yan. I-add natin dito sa 25 liters. Kaya, N plus 25 maging 75% yung water. 25% solution, bali, yung 75, water yun siya. 25%, yun yung salt. So, ito na yung equation natin para masolve natin itong letter N na ito. i -re write lang natin para mas lalong maintindihan. i -re write lang natin. 100% kung ilan yung water na yan, i-add natin sa yung kabaliktaran kasi salt yung 65%, which is 
35% of 25 liters equals to yung 75%, kabalik talan ulit itong 25% kasi yan is about salt and ang i-add natin ay water. Then, N plus 25. We can either keep the percentage or convert them into decimal numbers. Pero pariho lang din naman. Kung i-convert man natin o hindi, pariho lang kasi dito mayroon mga percentage, mayroon din dyan. So, pariho lang. We can keep them. Keep mo lang. Ignore mo lang yung percent sign. So, this is 100N plus 35 times 25 and that is 875. Equals 20, uh, 75 times N, that is 75N. Next, 75 times 25 and that is 1875. 1, Next, ipagsama ang mga like terms. I-keep lang natin si 100N dito. Si 75N, since pang-add siya dyan or positive number siya, minus na siya kapag matranspose dito sa kabila. Next, i-keep si 1,875. 875, kung i-transpose mo sa kabila, maging minus 875. 100N minus 75N, that is 25N. 1,875 minus 875, obviously, that is 1,000. Para ma-isolate si N dyan, since 25 pang multiply sa N, pang divide ngayon siya sa 1,000. Now, 1,000 divided by 25, and that is 40. So, how much water must be added? Ang sagot dito ay 40 liters. Now, let's do number 4. By the way, kung iba ang sagot nyo dito sa number 3, kung hindi 40, just comment down below, ilalagay nyo rin, nyo rin yung solution kung bakit hindi 40 yung sagot ninyo. Otherwise, ilalagay ko rin dito sa description ng video ito yung iba pang mga examples about mix problem, mixture problem. So, number Four. Basahin muna natin to number 4. The sum of two numbers is 78. Their difference is 14. Find the two numbers. Let's solve this in two ways. First, let's do elimination. The sum of two numbers is 78. Saan dyan ang nag-add ng 78? Obviously, hindi ito 78 kung i-add mo yung dalawang numbers. Ito lang dalawa. A and D. Next, their difference is 14. 42 minus 36. 6 yan siya. 46 minus 32 and that is 14. So, ito na yung sagot. Letter D. Now, another way of solving this, yung kung ano talaga, paano talaga ito, i-solve. Let A and B be that two numbers. The sum of two numbers is 78. So, A plus B equals 78. Their difference is 14. So, A minus B equals 14. Ipagsama mo yung dalawang equation mo. I-add mo lang siya kasi pwede namang mag-cancel out dyan. Marami na tayong mga upload with regards sa mga variables or two variables na kunin natin yung values nila. So, ilalagay ko na rin sa description ng video ito para mapanood nyo rin yun. A plus A, that is 2A. 78 plus 14, and that is 92. So, 2A equals 92. Para ma-isolate natin si A dito, since itong si 2 pang multiply sa A, pang divide na siya sa 92. Now, A is equals to 92 divided by 2, and that is 46. Now, sa choices, isa lang naman ang merong 46. So, yan na yung sagot. Ngayon, kung gusto nyo hanapin talaga natin yung pangalawang number na yan, magpili ka lang dito. Either ito or ito ang gamitin natin. A plus B equals 78. 
ang A natin, meron na tayong value which is 46 plus B equals 78. Now, para ma-isolate si B dyan, since itong 46 pang A dyan, pang minus na siya kapag ma-transpose sa kabila. Now, B is equal to 78 minus 46 and that is 32. So, ang pangalang, pangalawang number ay 32. Two. So, therefore, ang sagot dito ay letter D. Lagi ko nang inuulit ito, never memorize the answer, kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan ng tama. Abangan ang next na video. Thank you.